Hi friends, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it as always having you here. And we're going to do today a practice that is for the lower back and hips. Happy hips, happy lower back and vice versa. So I really hope you enjoy and please join me on your back when you're ready. Finding yourself on the back, allowing your entire back body to unwind from the base of the skull all the way down through the tip of the tail. Let the thigh bones rest and soften. And open the right knee out to the right, creating this half Supta Baddha Konasana. It's a half bound angle. And then open your left knee out to the right. So we're coming into reclined bound angle pose for a couple of breaths. As we do that, touch the first finger and thumbs together for Gayan Mudra, which is a gesture of focus and centering and begin to press your feet in together, prayer feet. So the feet are rooting in and we feel the activation of the outer butt muscles, the gluteals, and all around that hip joint where the thigh bone connects into the pelvis. Those muscles activate as you press through the feet and lift the inner knees together just a bit, and then go ahead and let it relax. And we'll do that a couple times, really subtle. Press through the feet, engage through the outer hips and glutes, and then gently relax. And one more time, press, squeeze in, and then relax. And then squeeze in, bring your feet on the floor. Press through the left foot, draw the right knee in toward your body. Reach your right hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Rest your left hand on top of the thigh and extend the right sole of the foot toward the ceiling. And if it's available, slide that left leg out straight and long on the floor for half happy baby. Press your left hand into the top of the thigh. Keep the back of the head resting. And then lightly step your left foot onto the ground, cross your right ankle over on top of the left thigh, coming in toward figure four, thread the needle, slip that right hand in between that space in your legs. Hands are in the knee crease or the front of the shin. And flex both feet so we feel a little more active in the muscles, but remain relaxed in the upper back and shoulders and the back of the head. Gently traction the right inner knee away from the body. And when you inhale, squeeze the legs a little closer in, drawing that left thigh bone in. When you exhale, press that left leg into the hand so the arms go straight and your lower back flattens to the floor. And then hug the legs in and then press away. Inhale, hug in and exhale, press away. Inhale, squeeze in. Exhale, uncross, full happy baby elbows on insides of knees, hands reaching for the ankles or the outside edges of the feet. Soles of feet face the sky. Lightly interlace the fingers back behind your head. When you inhale, open your legs out toward the shape of a V. When you exhale, come in to that happy baby shape. Bring your elbows toward the shins. And then inhale, extend, and exhale, drawing in. So we're building up just a little bit through the core, which is really supportive to relieve that lower back pain. So we'll flow in and out of this a few times. Whatever range of motion is available for you. Good work. One more time. Hug in. Touch the elbows to the shins. Then release your head back, come into cactus arms, soles of feet together, knees splay open again into Supta Baddha Konasana, it's recline bound angle. And when you do that, I invite you to engage your outer butt muscles, engage your gluteal muscles, and slowly begin to squeeze the knees in, bring your feet on the floor. Reach your arms overhead, press through the feet gently, take a long stretch through the fingertips, inhale, Exhale, press the hands through heart center and hug your left knee in toward your side waist. Take your left hand to the outside edge of your left foot. Lift the left sole of the foot toward the ceiling. 
Your right hand is resting on top of the right thigh. If it's available, extend your right leg out straight and long on the floor. Breathing there. Lower ribs drawing in. And then slowly step your right foot back on the ground. Cross your left ankle over on top of the right thigh. Thread the needle coming into figure four. Interlace your hands in the right knee crease or the front of the shin. And moving with the breath as you inhale, hug the legs closer in towards your body. And exhale, press the right leg into the interlace of your hands. And move with your breath a couple of times. Inhale, hugging in. Exhale, press away. Inhale, hugging in. Exhale, press away. Inhale, hugging in. And exhale, slowly unwind back into full happy baby. Rock a little bit side to side. And then when you rock to the right, go ahead and let the legs go all the way to the right. Stack your knees, open into a twist. Look over your left. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, bring the knees back into center. Come back to happy baby. Rock a little bit. And when you rock to the left, bring your knees all the way over to the left, gently stacking the knees. And looking to the right, palms facing up. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, let it out down the left side. Belly hollowing in toward the spine. Then look toward the knees, bring the knees back in. Hug your knees in, curl into a little ball. And then release your feet onto the floor. Press your feet into the floor very firmly, palms facing up, lift the hips and pelvis and really squeeze and engage the gluteal muscles. Engage your gluteals, inhale, exhale, slowly melt down, upper back, middle back, lower back resting, then take your feet mat width distance apart, windshield wiper, arms can come out a little bit, windshield wiper, the knees side to side. Good, and then bring your feet on the floor, knees knock in to touch. Interlace your hands behind your head and take one little scoop of the tailbone toward your face, elbows lift toward the ceiling. Flatten your lower back on the ground for a moment as you exhale and let your head fall back. Allow that natural lower back curve and take your Shavasana meditation in this position. So the lower back feels really broad and supported. Toes are soft. And please stay as long as is comfortable for you, letting the spine unwind. And any area of discomfort, any area of sensation that you notice, surround it with light, surround it with tenderness and healing. And when you're ready, roll to the left hand side. Rest the head in the crook of the arm. Inhale, exhale, let it out. And then take your time to slowly press on up. Make your way up into a comfortable cross-legged seat. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down. Have a great rest of your day. Hope you feel better. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And thank you for subscribing to my channel, sharing it with your friends, helping me grow this community. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you next time.